Hello YouTube, today we're doing a video on how to get uh, DS games on your PC or Mac and play them all for free. So open up, so open up your web, web browser and go onto Google and type in D-E-S-M-U-M-E. -E. Hit enter. When it loads you want to click this one which is the D-E-S-M-U-M-E -E, Nintendo DS emulator, this one here, with that link. Click it and we'll take you to their uh, home page. On the right hand side, click download. Uh, if, if you're running Windows, download the Windows binary, and if you're on Mac, download the Mac binary. Of course, this tutorial applies for the same for Mac, even though I'm on PC. So uh, I'm just going to download the Windows binary. And you'll be taken to a source board page and wait five seconds. Hit save file. And after it stops scanning for viruses, there we go. Um, you want to move this file, if to drag it to your desktop, and have it on your desktop. Uh, you can now close your internet browser. So now you have the zip file on your desktop. Now, because it's a compressed zip file, you will need a program such as 7-zip to extract it, um, which is this program here, 7-zip file manager. Um, I will put a link to that in the description, but open it with 7-zip. And you'll get a small window like this, this one here, and all these files need need to be copied into a folder. So go back onto your desktop and create a new folder. I'm just going to call mine DS uh, Emulator. And now with that, we go back into our little extraction uh, program here. Hit extract. Now choose where you want to extract it. We're going to extract it desktop. Scroll down, we're going to choose DS Emulator, the folder we just chose. There it is. DS Emulator. Hit OK, and it will, and it will extract the files. There we go. Now it's done, we can cross that off. Now we can get rid of this zip file and just place it in the bin. Now we have our DS Emulator. There you go. We've got the DS Emulator. We've got uh, the program there. Nice. But... That's only the emulator, so if we just open it up here, we're greeted by um, a small little window, just like sort of like a DS almost. And but we don't have, we don't have any games to play, so let's go get some games. So it's going to go into your internet browser, open it up, and the best website for downloading games is probably CoolROM. So go onto Google, type in CoolROM. And you want to go to coolrom.com. Hit that. I'm just going to ignore any security warnings. Boop. Um, and you'll, you'll see a website like this. This thing here. And you want to hover over ROM files. And go down. Until you find Nintendo DS. This one here. Hit it. And there's a top 50 download, you can brand by genre, letter, there's also a top rated out of 5, seems like Pokemon's a very popular one. And then there's the DS emulators, of course we've got that one. Anyway, um, so we're just going to download a test game, let's do Super Mario Brothers since I love that game. And I do give a warning, downloading free game, these games for free is only legal if you have the official cartridge for it. But many people just download it anyway without even thinking and you never really get in trouble. But just in case, I'm just warning you. So and hit so scroll down. So after you've clicked your game that you want, scroll down and hit download now. It'll open a little smaller window and there'll be an ad, which you have to watch. And I have to wait five seconds for a download link. There we go, we can hit download our file, which is super new Super Mario Brothers. Uh, zip. <coughs> get an ad like this um, and, you, and you don't really want it, just close it off and go get another one because some of the ads on there are really annoying. So just uh, keep keep on doing it until you find uh, a not intrusive ad, one that, one that doesn't block everything. And now we, now we have a file we can download. So hit download. My name is Lillian and I'll save Lillian it again Lillian, and cross that off. Wait for it to download. Most of these files are quite uh, small in size, they shouldn't take too long to download. 
so I'll be back when it's finished downloading. And I'm back, and the download has finished, see? So now we can uh, cross that off, and it will be a good idea to have the uh, downloaded file on our desktop. Yeah, again, it's a zip file, so you need 7z or a like to extract it. Open it up, and we have two files, a readme and the rom file. Now, we can extract these to our desktop, like so. And we don't need readme, so let's throw this in the bin. Oh, not like that. <laughs> But anyway, uh, now we have a new Super Mario Brothers .nds. Make make sure you have that NDS. This is an NDS file. So now open up your DS emulator file folder. Sorry, and create a new folder. Uh, call, call call it whatever you right. I'm just gonna call mine ROMs. And then drag this file. Oh, not like that. <laughs> like that. Into the ROMs folder. Move to ROMs. Done. It's now been moved to ROM, see? Now we can get rid of the zip file. And go back to our DS emulator folder. Check it's in there. Yep. Go back. Now we can run the DES MUME. Wait for it to load. And here we go. Fully featured DS emulator. Now hit file. Open ROM. And now choose new Super Mario Brothers NDS. Hit it. Hit open. And there we go. We now have a DS emulator. And what's great about these is the arrow keys do uh, up, down, left, right. And you can go full screen mode. So let's. And also you can edit the controls by going to config. Um, I think it's config. I think it's config, control config, and you can change all these here. So I'm going to change my A, B, X, Y to B, A, Y, and X, simply because that seems suitable. Okay, so hit OK. And let's play some Mario. So, thank you for watching the tutorial, please remember to leave a comment, rate and subscribe, and goodbye, Pokedots! Dun 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 dun!